Before the 2008 recession upended the U.S. economy, nearly 70% of all working-age Americans were employed. Today, the percentage of employed working-age Americans remains stuck in the low 60s, despite a 16-year low in the unemployment rate. That's called labor slack, says Howard University economics professor Bill Spriggs, who says it's one of the reasons why wages have not kept up with job gains. The reality is firms really aren't feeling the pressure. They really aren't feeling the scarcity. Some Americans gave up looking for work after the economic downturn, which means they were no longer counted as unemployed. African Americans and minorities who were disproportionately affected by layoffs have made significant progress since 2008. But women, particularly those employed in the public sector, have made less progress, says Lindsay Piegza, chief economist at Stifel Fixed Income Group. She spoke to VOA on Skype. Women right now make on average 80 cents relative to uh, their male counterparts. And when you factor in that rapid rise in child costs, a lot of women are making the decision to actually stay home. With baby boomers, those born between 1946 and 1964 reaching retirement age, Piegza says encouraging working age women to return to the workforce is crucial. If we see a permanent loss of women from the labor force, this could be a permanent loss to productivity, to growth, to the economy. Labor participation rates among women reached a peak of 60% in 1999, but that has since declined to about 57%. A 2017 study by the International Monetary Fund says raising the participation rate for women by just 1% could raise productivity growth by as much as one-third of 1% each year. Milar Sega for VOA News, Washington.